Today at the Left Library, we're breaking down Vladimir Lenin's seminal work, What is to be Done, published in 1902. This book is a foundational text in Marxist theory, outlining Lenin's vision for a revolutionary vanguard party. Lenin argues for the necessity of a disciplined professional revolutionary party to lead the working class, or proletariat, in the struggle against capitalism and the capitalist class. Whether you're new to Marxist ideas or a seasoned theorist, Lenin's insights provide a crucial understanding of revolutionary strategy and organization. Lenin's central argument in what is to be done is the necessity of a vanguard party, a group of professional revolutionaries who lead the proletariat in the struggle against capitalism. He believes that the working class cannot achieve revolutionary consciousness on its own due to the pervasive influence of bourgeois ideology. The vanguard party is thus essential to guide and educate the proletariat, transforming their spontaneous struggles into a unified movement for socialism. Lenin asserts, without revolutionary theory, there can be no revolutionary movement. Lenin further explains that the working class, left to its own devices, tends to develop only a trade union consciousness. This means that workers might strive for better wages and working conditions within the existing system, but lack the broader vision necessary for overthrowing capitalism. The vanguard party, composed of dedicated and theoretically trained revolutionaries, is crucial for imparting this vision and organizing the working class into a force capable of challenging the state. By providing political education and strategic leadership, the vanguard party ensures that the proletarian movement is not merely reactive, but proactive in pursuing systemic change. Lenin emphasizes the need for professional revolutionaries, individuals who dedicate their entire lives to the cause of revolution. These revolutionaries are not part-time activists. They are full-time, highly disciplined and skilled organizers who can maintain the continuity and coherence of the revolutionary movement. Lenin states, the organization of the revolutionaries must consist first and foremost of people whose profession is that of a revolutionary. Professional revolutionaries play a critical role in ensuring that the revolutionary movement remains focused and effective. They are responsible for developing and disseminating revolutionary theory, planning and executing strategies, and maintaining the morale and unity of the movement. Lenin argues that without such professionals, the movement would be vulnerable to disorganization and fragmentation, especially under the repressive measures of the state. By forming a core of professional revolutionaries, the Vanguard Party can sustain long-term efforts and adapt to changing political conditions, thereby increasing the likelihood of a successful revolution. A key component of Lenin's strategy is the centralization of the revolutionary movement. He argues that a highly centralized and disciplined party structure is essential for effective action and decision-making. Lenin writes, we must centralize the leadership of the movement. A dozen wise men can decide more correctly than a hundred fools. Centralization allows the party to respond quickly and cohesively to political developments, making it more resilient against state repression and internal dissent. Discipline within the party ensures that members adhere to agreed upon strategies and objectives, minimizing the risk of factionalism and disunity Lenin believes that a tightly organized party where decision-making is concentrated in the hands of a competent and trusted leadership can better coordinate actions and achieve strategic goals. This level of organization is particularly crucial during times of crisis when swift and decisive action can determine the success or failure of the revolutionary movement. Lenin strongly criticizes economism, a trend within the socialist movement, that focuses primarily on economic struggles and trade unionism. He argues that economism limits the working class to fighting for better wages and conditions within the capitalist system, rather than challenging the system itself. Lenin writes, the economists are bending all their efforts to narrow and vulgarize the theory and practice of socialism. Lenin contends that economism fails to address the broader political and ideological dimensions of the struggle against capitalism. 
By focusing solely on economic issues, economism neglects the need for political education and the development of revolutionary consciousness among workers. Lenin insists that the working class must engage in political struggle to overthrow the capitalist state and establish socialism. This requires a shift from purely economic demands to a comprehensive political program that includes the fight for democratic rights, the dismantling of the bourgeois state apparatus, and the establishment of a proletarian state. Lenin's critique of economism highlights the importance of integrating economic and political struggles to achieve systemic change. Lenin acknowledges the important role of the intelligentsia in the revolutionary movement. He argues that intellectuals, due to their education and theoretical knowledge, can provide the necessary leadership and guidance to the working class. Lenin states, the intelligentsia has always been the vehicle of ideas. Only a revolutionary intelligentsia can give a socialist direction to the workers' movement. However, Lenin also warns against elitism and emphasizes that the intelligentsia must be closely connected to the working class. Intellectuals should not impose their own agendas, but rather help raise the class consciousness of workers and assist in their self-organization. This involves educating workers about the broader implications of their struggles and helping them develop a revolutionary perspective. By collaborating with the intelligentsia, the working class can benefit from theoretical insights and strategic guidance while ensuring that the movement remains grounded in the real experiences and aspirations of workers. Lenin's approach seeks to balance the contributions of intellectuals with the needs and agency of the working class. Lenin then highlights the importance of agitation and propaganda in building a revolutionary movement. He distinguishes between the two, explaining that agitation involves inciting people to action on specific issues, while propaganda involves spreading theoretical ideas and educating the masses. Lenin writes, the task of the social democrat is to be the tribune of the people. Effective agitation and propaganda are crucial for raising political awareness and mobilizing the working class. Agitation focuses on immediate concerns and injustices, stirring people to action and fostering a sense of urgency. Propaganda, on the other hand, provides a deeper understanding of the systemic nature of these issues, helping people see the need for fundamental change. Lenin advocates for the use of newspapers, pamphlets and other media to reach a wide audience and build a unified movement. He believes that through persistent and well-organized efforts, the party can win the support of the masses and prepare them for the revolutionary struggle. Agitation and propaganda are not just tools for recruitment, but essential components of the process of raising class consciousness and developing a revolutionary movement. Lenin's What is to be Done has had a profound impact on revolutionary movements and Marxist theory his ideas on the vanguard party influenced the structure and strategy of numerous communist parties around the world. The emphasis on a disciplined, professional revolutionary party became a hallmark of Leninist and later Marxist-Leninist ideology. Lenin's critique of economism and insistence on political struggle resonated with many revolutionary leaders, shaping the tactics and goals of socialist movements in the 20th century. His vision of a tightly organized, centralized party played a key role in the success of the Bolshevik Revolution in 1917 and the establishment of the Soviet Union. Vladimir Lenin's What is to be Done is a crucial text for understanding the dynamics of revolutionary strategy and organization. For those new to Marxist theory, it offers a comprehensive introduction to the concept of the vanguard party and the necessity of professional revolutionaries. For those familiar with Marxism, it provides deeper insights into the organizational principles that underpin successful revolutionary movements. Lenin's emphasis on the need for a disciplined, centralized and professional revolutionary party highlights the strategic considerations necessary for overthrowing capitalism. His critique of economism and focus on political struggle underscore the importance of raising class consciousness and engaging in broader social and political battles. 
In essence, what is to be done remains an essential read for anyone interested in the theory and practice of revolutionary socialism. Lenin's clear exposition and compelling arguments continue to inspire and inform socialist movements around the world, offering valuable lessons for contemporary struggles against capitalist exploitation and oppression. This comprehensive look at Lenin's work not only enhances our understanding of revolutionary strategy, but also challenges us to think critically about the organization and goals of movements for social change. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into Vladimir Lenin's What is to be Done? This crucial text offers profound insights into the dynamics of revolutionary strategy and organization. Whether you're new to Marxist theory or a seasoned theorist, we hope you found our exploration both informative and thought-provoking. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Lenin's ideas. Do you agree with his emphasis on the vanguard party and professional revolutionaries? How do you see his critique of economism playing out in today's political climate? Drop your comments below and let's get a discussion going. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and fellow enthusiasts of left-wing literature. Don't forget to subscribe to the Left Library for more in-depth reviews and discussions on influential works in socialist, Marxist and progressive thought. We simplify left-wing literature to make it accessible and engaging for everyone. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you again for watching, and remember, understanding revolutionary theory is the first step towards making meaningful social change. Or, as Lenin put it, without revolutionary theory there can be no revolutionary movement. Keep questioning, keep learning, and keep striving for a better world.